my first view of the palace and probably from the back side. Art Nouveau, Disney-esque. How do you describe it? Beautiful hodgepodge. Clever how the architect has included the underlying stone in that archway. The Islamic entrance. The entrance. It's a quick run through here because it just really feels like Walt Disney. It's such a mishmash of stuff. This, I think, is probably called Renaissance. Here I'm in a very cool, and I mean in the sense of almost chilly, shaded area, courtyard on the opposite side from the sun, obviously. And just to do it, I'll make a pan from probably the south. So we can see the landscape of this part of Portugal. Imagine having the money to squander on this degree of whimsy just for the pleasure of one man. Unconscionable. Just to focus on some of what look like interesting places you can see from up here. And I'm guessing that's the site of the Moorish Castle, but I don't really know. From up here, we get access to the inside. So let's go see what's inside. Again, how much is worthy of appreciation from an authentic viewpoint? I just simply haven't got a clue. The chapel seems nonplussed. The altar is not that dramatic. The ceiling is pretty. It has several different types of tile designs. It was just a little um, half dome area, but what caught my attention is the uh, tile work of a soldier killing someone without a muzzle. And I don't know what has any importance in here. These are interesting at least. Israelis. Original furnishings of 1910, so I need to confirm that. But that's an incredible centerpiece, isn't it? Again, it all looks so new, as though Hollywood created it a couple of weeks ago. Interesting furniture, at least. There may be a 
Chinese sewing kit. Some early binoculars. An early camera. It's interesting to imagine how much of this was truly here. <laughs> Amazing umbrella stand. Day and toy, but this is what's interesting is this tub. Very interesting. This cloister is interesting, particularly the tile work inside here. Um, that always is kind of fascinating. Such a mix of it everywhere. It's like the whole point was how many different styles of tile work can we get in here. It doesn't look to be any consistent strategy for the tiles either. And notice all the gargoyles from up above that dump right into this. Presumably drain right out. Let her clo a little closer look at this tile work and this beautiful little courtyard really. And her bath, pretty nice really. Ah, and there's the loo. I wonder if it dumps out the side somewhere. That's a pretty little tea set. Very pretty. And statue of woman. I think is the Moorish castle out the window. But the incredible in here is the tile work, or uh, whatever you define that is. You can't see the individual tiles if in fact they are. So I'm not sure how this was constructed. Very pretty and very unique. And this pretty little cabinet for whatever. I think those are individual drawers, maybe a jewelry cabinet. This clock is interesting with the matching, whatever they are, candlestick holders, I would imagine, so you can read the clock. Pretty little desk. Incredibly ornate cabinet with probably eight individual drawers. An interesting chair. I forget what they call this. This one with four positions. Sometimes it's a lover's chair that has two positions, one on either side. This is interesting, a very early switchboard for a telephone, whether it's for a telephone that's solely for the castle or other, I don't know. Beautiful desk. Hmm. These ceilings and walls are all painted. They're faded out quite a bit. One wonders if there was once beautiful coloration here or if the whole point was this subtle decor. Notice there's a a little bit darker red there, but it's also darker right there than it is right over in here. The snake decor. Quite impressive. Wood sculpture looks like although it could be just painted. Imagine the detail that's in these pieces of furniture. I wonder how it was made. Is it carved? Is it metal? It looks wood. You can see parts broken off. But what an incredible detail. This is certainly Art Nouveau. So there are some tiles that have not yet been installed. I think they're very good at disguising it. There you can see the line very faint right there. There you can see the line right there, very faint. Pretty spiral staircase. This room being restored into this condition. Light fixtures are not installed yet. And over here, look at those beautiful circular windows.
And of course, the ongoing restoration up there. The foot will be restored. This is what it should look like when the furniture is restored and the room is Probably something was stored on those shelves of killing importance. Thank you.